who are brothers and sisters and comrades. I just wanted to talk a bit this morning about this real uh, interesting kind of expose of the United States uh, with what is happening in these border cities where uh, Mexican and other uh, families who are attempting to enter into the United States have been captured. And once uh, captured, attempting to come into the United States, their families have been separated, children, some as young as three, separated from their parents. We've seen images of them thrown into cages and where children are screaming desperately uh, for their parents. And this has uh, caused uh, some outrage in many quarters. But I think that uh, more than anything, what it really reveals to people who want to ignore it is what a horrible institution this thing that's called the United States really is. It is a serious blot on humanity. And I'm saying this and I want, uh, while I'm saying this, I recognize that Facebook is going to uh, take this off or make it impossible for us to boost it if we get anything up, but we're trying to use other platforms as well. Uh, obviously, we will not be able to rely on social media uh, platforms uh, much longer, if at all, uh, anymore for getting our messages out. This is not just the African People's Socialist Party, but I'm talking about anybody who's trying to do anything meaningful uh, uh, and, and speak uh, uh, truth uh, to peoples uh, anywhere. These platforms are not going to serve us, and we're going to have to find other ways to deal with that. But I do want to say that uh, it is important to recognize uh, what is happening and the look at what's happening at the borders is just uh, one example. And I want to say that we have a real, that is to say, the African People's Socialist Party, the entire Uhuru movement. We have absolute total solidarity uh, with the Mexican and other peoples who are colonized uh, south of the border who are attempting to come to this country, uh, fleeing uh, the circumstances that have been imposed on them by U.S. Uh, government, uh, corporate uh, policies and actions and running to the United States uh, to, uh, whether they know it or not, uh, try to capture some of the value, some of the resources that have been stolen uh, from uh, their country south of the border and brought here uh, so that uh, we've had a history of United Fruits and various other kinds of institutions like that who have been responsible for overthrowing governments. In fact, uh, they used to refer to uh, the South America uh, as the backyard of the United States and banana republics. That's where it comes from because of the influence of uh, corporations like United Fruit that at any given time would overthrow governments in order to suck the people dry, suck their resources dry, and to bring them to the United States uh, where they would be traded all over the world to the benefit of the United States, white people, white power, etc. So those people who are coming across those borders, I think it's really important for us to say with absolute, uh, uh, without any reservation at all, that we have absolute total solidarity with their right uh, to cross that uh, artificially imposed border uh, to uh, come uh, to this territory. And then I want to say that uh, when we look at this question, we remember, we recognize that what they are now calling the United States uh, is stolen territory. That if there is an immigrant question, an immigrant uh, uh, problem, and the U.S., uh, even the liberals who uh, attempt to denounce uh, Donald Trump for the separation of uh, families' policies that seems to be at work now, uh, uh, the fact is that uh, if there is an immigration problem, uh, it is not the absence of some constructed immigration policy, liberal immigration policy, uh, bipartisan immigration policy uh, that would be put forth by the Democrats and Republicans, the liber liberals or the conservatives or reactionary. The immigrant problem in the United States is white people. White people yes. who came uh, to this land uninvited by anybody stole all the lands and now we have people who are living in concentration camps called Indian reservations that they were put there by white people. We're talking about white people who stole half of Mexico, stole half of Mexico, 
and then erected a border there that would separate the Mexican people from each other and from their resources, from their territories. And they want to talk about now the issue of separation of families. I think that we're not talking about Trump here. We must really understand that and that to to uh, allow this discussion to be something that's framed as uh, Democrats versus Republicans and Trump uh, versus the nice white people uh, is ridiculous. And the history, I, I've looked at television and I've seen uh, these uh, uh, pitiful, these uh, mournful uh, liberals or white people who are talking about uh, Democrats mostly, but also uh, others. We've seen things like the Pope of all people, who is only time he is concerned is if they run out of sufficient amount of KY jelly when they are molesting children. I mean, you're talking about the Pope, separation of families when the Pope uh, is the one that uh, signed the edict that uh, separated uh, Spain and Portugal in terms of who could be l legally involved in the slave trade. Yes. And the Pope is bemoaning the fact that children are being separated from their families. How many children did the yes. Pope, the Catholic Church, yes. steal yes. Uh, from Africans and other yes. people uh, as, as a part of the whole process of colonizing the world that the Catholic Church, the Pope, was also involved in? And then there is the Prime Minister of England, mm -hmm. of all places, who also is uh, uh, talking about how they don't like what is happening uh, with the children and separating families, that we don't do that in England. What are you talking about? I mean, England at one time, that control a quarter of the world's population, a quarter of the world's territory that was responsible uh, in large measure for the slave trade uh, uh, that has committed and continues to commit horrible offenses against the people even up to this the war on the Falkland Islands. You remember that? How the, how the Falkland Island could be a part of England, uh, etc. And so you have these liberals who are saying, oh, uh, Trump has really done it now. He's really overstepped his boundaries. He's going to really be in trouble now uh, because this is not the American way and Americans uh, uh, will not tolerate what Trump is. Are you joking? Who are you talking to? Don't you understand that Africans hear you when you say that? Yes. Don't you understand that Mexicans yes. and other oppressed people hear you when you say that? Yes. Don't you understand that we've seen Democrats, Republicans, and even before there were Democrats and Republicans, white people who committed the worst kinds of offenses against us, they have skinned us alive. They have cut open the yes. bellies of pregnant uh, um, so-called Indians and African women and, and, and played ball, uh, uh, soccer, and what have you with, uh, with the, uh, the ch unborn children. Yes. This is America that we are talking about. Don't yes. tell us anything about the American way. Yes. And what has happened, of course, is this discussion is being framed in a fashion that is supposed to be one that is between the Democrats and Republicans because they don't want you African. They don't want you Mexican. They don't want you oppressed person to step outside of that that uh, framework and look for your freedom where you have to find it. And your freedom is not going to be found by the, within the Democrat or Republican parties. Yeah. It's not going to be found within the existing American social system. It's going to be a found as a consequence of attacking that system that has been responsible for separating families historically. How many families were separated as a consequence of the slave trade? How many black people died uh, coming across the Atlantic Ocean and those ships? How many people were thrown? How many young people went to get water from the river and then didn't show back up to their villages because they had been captured by white slavers? Don't talk to us about the separation of children and how somehow it's a Trump problem. It's an American imperialism problem. White power was born through separating families, through separating uh, children from their parents, etc. How many black children yes. were sold away from their parents, yes. sold yes. down south and up south yes. and things like that as a part of the yes. whole process of building American, American wealth. The whole republic rests upon yes. the graves and the families that were torn asunder as a consequence yes. of, of slavery, as a consequence of the brigandage of, white, of the white world and including the United States of America. Yes. So what we want to say is that you can't fool us, and we're not going to be locked in this process of crying over the, 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 the children who were kidnapped and thrown into cages in the United States. You've been throwing people into cages forever. Yes. There have even been places in Belgium and other places in Europe where African people were brought, uh, enslaved by colonial powers and brought and put behind glass bars in zoo-like situations uh, so that white people could come and watch them. 
talk to us about this. You're talking about rapists, child molesters, presidents like Thomas Jefferson, and then the others who don't get spoken of, like yeah. George Washington, who I'm told died because he caught a, a coal or some kind of uh, 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 problem as a consequence, leaving the slave quarters where he went to rape an African woman yeah. and in the rain. Yeah. Don't talk to us about this. We yeah. understand who America uh -huh. is and what America is, and increasingly peoples yeah. around the world and black people are waking yeah. up and we're striking it out. Yeah. We want to have our own freedom, our own government, our own Africa. We want to yeah. move white people from Africa, yeah. uh, etc. We want imperialism gone. You talk to us about separation of families when a group of white people could get together in 1884 and 1885 in Berlin, Germany, far from Africa and carve up Africa into these untenable uh, entities now. How many families were separated as a consequence of those artificial borders that was created then? And then the liberals tell us this is not the American way what Trump is doing on the border. You must be joking. You must think that everybody is crazy. No, it doesn't make a difference if you're a Republican or a Democrat, if you're a liberal or conservative. Yes. Conservative, if you're a fascist or a Democrat, the fact of the matter is that colonialism yes. is colonialism, yes. and the whole white world has laid prostrate yes. at the feet yes. of imperial white power, and we're not going to take it anymore. Yes. That's why we're calling on people to join with us in October. Uh, to come to the uh, seventh Congress of the African People's Sources Party, which is going to be the most important event that happens for Africa and the world, where black people from all over will be coming together to set our own path, so yeah. our own freedom to take back our own Africa and everything that has been yeah. stolen from Africa, whether it's on the continent of Africa or whether it's in New Jersey. We want yes. it all back, and yeah. that's what we're going to be coming together to deal with. So we have no illusions about the American way. We know that the American way uh, is represented in exactly what Trump is doing. And in fact, Trump yeah. is nicer in some yeah. ways. We don't, we, we're, not, uh, uh, we're not ignorant of what Obama has done in this process and how many. And I want to say something about that sellout Negro. And I, you have to get upset about it if you want to. But Obama was responsible for more people being kicked out of this country than any previous president. Obama is the one who double-crossed you and told white people that they didn't owe reparations for yes. black people. Yes. Obama is the one who only had anything positive. He never had anything positive to say about you. He talked about your mama. He talked about your daddy. He talked yes. about how we didn't have good parents, and that's why we were catching hell in America. He went to Africa and did the same, uh, same kind of thing. So it's been Democrats. It's been Republicans. It's been a history of American imperialism that has wreaked havoc with our lives, and we will only know a decent future when we strike out and find it for ourselves. Yeah. We, we live in communities throughout America today, uh, some of us, uh, where we see uh, this whole uh, process of pushing us out of our communities uh, that, that, that they call gentrification. Well, entire communities are being disappeared where families who grew up in one place can't even go back 15, 20 years later to find the place where they grew up, can't find the churches where their parents were married in, can't find the schools that their parents attended because they are gone. They've been buried under this gentrification of a process that's removed black people uh, uh, from where we once thought we had some kind of security. Our security is in total absolute liberation. Yeah. Our security is in yeah. the total liberation and unification yeah. of Africa and the African people yeah. around the world yeah. under the leadership of the African working class, yeah. under the leadership of the advanced detachment yeah. of the African yeah. nation, that is the African People's Socialist Party. Yeah. So there is, there is no, no Donald Trump problem. Uh, our problem is America, and our problem has been here as long as America has forced it upon us at gunpoint. Yes. We remember that we didn't come here voluntarily. Yes. It's not like yes. we knew four or five hundred years ago that there was going to be an NBA uh, where they needed somebody who could dribble a ball and jump real high and then say, let's get there early so that we can get, the, get a fast break on it. No. We were kidnapped. We were brought here against our will at gunpoint, and we tried to do everything we could, live according to every rule that the white man has put there for us and made it illegal for us to escape. Uh, when we escaped, captured us, put us in jail, hanged us like they did Nat Turner. We've tried to 
Stay in church, like the white man said, go to the crackers church yeah, and everything's yeah. going to be all right. We go to church, they come to church, they blow it up or they kill us when we are there. Yeah. Uh, they said you can vote your way out of here and then they give us the so-called right to vote. And then when you vote, you end up voting for nobody because yeah. they gentrify you. Yeah. They, they create all kinds of situations where they change the borders and things like that. So your vote doesn't mean anything. And then they pick the Negroes who you can vote for yeah. uh, so that you're always voting for them no matter what you think you're doing. I want to criticize all the Negroes. I want to criticize those Negroes in Africa who, who allow the white man is the only person that can come to Africa. They don't need visas. White people don't need visas. There's no immigration problem for white people. They go all over Africa without visas. You can't get an African into this country unless it's a sellout or somebody from the African petty bourgeoisie right. got big money or they know white people with big money. They can't even come into the country. And yet these lick spittles who are, call themselves presidents and prime ministers and big shots in Africa and lord it over our people in Africa, they never complain about it. They never yeah. criticize that. Yeah. You, don't, you got Negro politicians, people who are in office holders. You don't hear a single one of them talking about the treatment of black people and the fact that black people can't come here from Africa. You don't hear a single one of them protesting the gentrification that's happening in our community and what have you, or calling on black people to strike out on our own, to build for ourselves so that we're not dependent on white power. So the reality is that we're not looking at a Trump problem, we're looking at an American problem, and we're looking at a problem of us having not come together organized uh, to build our own capacity to take care of ourselves. Come to the seventh Congress of the African People's Socialist Party is going to be in St. Louis, and that's going to be October 6th through the 12th. And we look forward to seeing you there. That's the way forward. And we will work at ending this immigration problem by turning Africans into a free people who are no longer immigrants and, and fixing it so that white people can go back where they came from. I think the, the real response to the immigrant question is white man, go home. White man, go home. All over the world, white man, go home. Thank you.